The government was previously planning to retain doctors to the NHS upon graduation. So that doctors had to complete a mandatory four years of service. Well, we now know that those plans have been scrapped. The Medical Students Committee at the BMA had a significant role in lobbying against it. We also know that places at medical schools are set to increase from next year. But is this really dealing with the lack of doctors that the NHS is currently facing? And could this be a detriment to current medical students? Well, we went to speak to Harrison, head of the Medical Students Committee, to find out more. The students who will benefit from these placements will take at least 10 years to train and become senior doctors. So we mustn't forget this promise won't tackle the immediate shortage of doctors in the NHS, which could become more acute following Brexit. In addition, from 2018, there will also be an additional 500 medical students across the country. However, with the current lack of doctors, will there be enough doctors to cover teaching? Or will we be missing out on vital learning opportunities? In the end, the government are continuously consulting on policy. It is therefore important that whatever your stance, that we as medical students understand and stay informed about health policy because it is these policies that will affect us directly. Yeah.